Hey everyone, Johnny with Pro H Paintball. We just started getting back in the 170Rs from Planet Eclipse. So I wanted to do a quick little video, uh, show you kind of break down the entire gun, clean it, service it. Uh, I'm not gonna clean this, I'm not gonna service this, I'm gonna show you what to watch out for. Um, and that way you have a reference video to go through. Um, if you do take yours apart, make sure you're doing it right. Um, so let's start first. Of course, no air, no air tank. Um, I'm gonna pull the grip off the front here. Do that there, because that is gonna be where your battery is. And I'm gonna unplug the battery. Good to go there. Pull the bolt out. That's gonna just slide, press up and out the back. One thing I really like about this though, is let's say it gets stuck. So I've had a couple of these that seem to get kind of, or they're kind of difficult. Uh, first off, make sure there's no air in the gun, but also there's a little hole in the back. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's a little hole in the back right there that looks like if you need to, you can actually press up on it and it'll actually help you uh, release this here. So if for some reason it gets stuck, you can't give it a finger. Don't destroy this or anything, but you can definitely press into here and it'll actually push the bolt out. There you go. So you got the bolt out there, good to go. Um, so we've got the battery, we've got the front. A lot of people are worried about how hard this is to remove. Uh, don't be scared, you're not gonna break this. I typically grab the gun just like this, two fingers, three fingers here. Grab it and just pull straight down, kind of wiggle it, and it comes right off. So it's a little difficult, but that's so it doesn't accidentally slip off when you're playing. Good to go there. Uh, eye covers, let's just take it apart completely. We're gonna pull that piece out. Eye cover is gonna fall off. You have two small screws in there. You don't really ever need to touch that. I wouldn't touch those unless you absolutely need to. And then inside of here is your ball detent. So if for some reason you're having multiple paintballs roll out the end of the barrel as you're playing, the detent is 99.999% of the issue. What this little rubber piece does is it keeps more than one paintball from rolling down the barrel at a time. So pull that out. Uh, let's say you're taking your gun completely apart to anodize it or something. One thing that's really cool is if I'm gonna show this real quick how this works. So that locks into place there for the eye cover, but if you wanna pull this piece out completely, slide it out, open that, and then slide it back into place, and slide it again, and it'll actually pop out the top there, and that way you get everything off the side here. And I'll do that to both sides quickly here so you can see again. So unlock it there, eye cover comes off, detent comes out, oop, that one right, detent comes out, and then again, to get this piece completely out, here and here. So don't ever pry that out. Um, it is, Planet Eclipse does a great job designing it so it's very easy to take out. We're gonna take the grips off here. For normal maintenance and everything, this is all you would really need to do. Clean the bolt out, clean the eyes out, and if you really wanna wipe down the gun uh, underneath the grips and everything, it's four for these screws here. If you have your tool kit, it has all your Allen wrenches and everything you need. They do sell the Allen wrench tools uh, separate, so if you do need this from Planet Eclipse. Um, there's really no reason for it to ever take this apart unless you're just trying to wipe down underneath it. It does have, what's really nice, it does have the manual, the colors and everything on the grips on the inside here for your screen. Uh, so this is an easy guide to check that out. Your wires inside of here, I don't recommend to mess with any of this unless you absolutely have to. Uh, okay, so let's take off the next thing. Let's do the frame. Show you kind of what the frame is looking like here. So you have two screws, one in the back top here, one in the in the front, in the bottom. So I'm going to take this here, loosen it up. I really like how this comes apart. Most of your other guns, there we go there, get that one screw there. Most of your other guns, when you take a body off the frame, when you take the body off the frame, you have to worry about wires getting pinched and smashed or ripped out. This is pretty nice. So I've got both screws out. I'm gonna lift up the back and then pull it out. So it actually, no wires, no nothing connected from the top board or top of the body to the bottom, nothing at all. And the front here latches into place. So if you can see that in the camera, little notch out there. So this here keeps the body from bending. You're not gonna break the aluminum. You're not gonna mess with metal at all. You're ready to go. This is your feed neck assembly. Um, you're good to go there. So pretty straightforward. It does unscrew. There's an out. There's a O-ring on the end of the screw here to keep it from rattling loose. Uh, we used to sell a ton of these replacement parts because they would fall off when people were driving uh, or at their paintball field. What's nice is Planet Eclipse. Uh, put a little O-ring on there. Good to go now, and you're set. The feed neck clamping piece does come off. Uh, there is a cool little trick 
uh, using a penny uh, to get it off and I can show you that here in a few. Um, so good to go there. There's your body. I'm just laying it aside. And so if you really want to deep clean it, you can take the body off like this. And these are your eye centers here. So you have the black eye and the white eye there. Um, you can just take a Q-tip, you can clean them off. You don't have to do anything crazy. I wouldn't recommend using chemicals or anything on there. Same for the board. You have the eye board here. But one thing you can lose is this little gasket right here. The gasket pulls up and that falls out. And so when you pull it apart, if you're doing it at the field, pay attention to this piece here, um, whatnot. Kyle here's got the penny for me so I can show you the trick. Thank you, sir. Good to go. And I'll show you how to take that feed off in a second. So watch out for that gasket um, on, on there. I'm gonna lay this side, come back to here. So these feed necks are pretty difficult to get off because they're on there pretty good. And even without the screws, they don't come off easily. So one thing we like to do and take everything off here And I'm just unscrewing this until that O-ring pops off. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. Take out your piece there. So now, even though the Phoenix, all the screws are taken off, it won't actually come off. It's on there. And you don't want to pry anything in there or scratch up your gun. So what we recommend, take a penny or a quarter or anything like that that's thin. And you want to see the, small, the bottom hole there. You want to put this piece in that bottom hole. Hold it into place. And normally, normally your screw goes from the left, if you're looking at the body there, from the left to the right but there's, you wanna do it from the right to the left. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna thread this in the feed neck, just a little bit, and then put that penny in here. And what that's gonna do is that's actually going to press against the penny and going to expand the bottom of the feed neck. And so it comes off. And you can leave it just like that. So if you're not gonna mess with that piece any for, or further to get anodized or take your gun apart, leave it just like that, don't mess with it. It's not gonna damage anything um, and you're set ready to go. And that's a nice little trick. Uh, that we use to make sure you get the feed necks off and that way your body is completely taken apart there. So I don't think there is anything left. So if you're gonna get this anodized, this is the, the base form uh, that you would need. Okay, so back to the free piece here. Um, eye covers, or sorry, eyes there. You got your gasket there. Um, I'm gonna take apart the regulator itself. I don't really wanna mess with the wires and everything. They do pull out. Uh, and I might mess with those actually now to look at it, but I'll show you quickly. I don't really like messing with that stuff if we don't have to. Um, so you've got two uh, screws on the bottom that actually mount your on off to your frame. And these I've kind of already loosened up. So two main screws. If for some reason the gun starts leaking between the frame and this piece, make sure these are tightened, uh, tightened up. Again, you don't want to over tighten them, but you definitely want to make sure they're firm. Then remember, I'm not doing the velocity adjustment. That one's there here. I'm messing with the two bottom line pieces here. Good to go. Okay, so that is your bottom line ASA. You do have your piston and your regulator spring there. So I'm going to be real delicate on this. I don't want to scratch any of it. I'm just going to work it out. It does go piston first. So if I'm messing with the gun here. The piston first, then the spring on top of it. So don't do that backwards if you do take this out. It just sits inside there, and again, be careful not to scratch anything up on there. Got the pieces there, good to go. So that's the majority of your gun. Uh, let's take out the trigger next. So it's got two screws up top that hold the, I believe this is the uh, trigger and the, um, I guess you call it their spring that they call it. I don't know what they actually call it, but it's the part that basically gives the uh, spring, the trigger spring tension. So pull those two out. A little leaflet, I think it might be what it's called. Comes out there at the top. Good to go. And then, let's see what we've got here. We have one more set screw on this side. This is gonna be a set screw on the right side of the gun that actually holds the spring completely into place. And you're good to go. You do wanna be careful of those wires as you pull it out, um, but the trigger is very simple. That piece goes into the side there, just like that. Pretty straightforward, those two screws sit on the top of the leaflet. Good to go, oh, good to go there, cool. So now you have your trigger out, you have your electronics, like I said, I don't recommend to do it um, if you don't have to, just to clean them, just, it's just extra chance of you damaging something. But if you do wanna remove the eyes, make sure 
So even on that one, make sure, I think I just bent them. Yep, so you wanna be real careful on these because they will bend. So you wanna take the eye screw off the front and this is your eye board. It does detach right here. So if you wanna replace it, you can do that. Be careful not to pull on the wires too hard. Um, your next thing, your battery harness is inside, goes through here to the front piece. So that is your battery harness. So you don't have to remove the front, it looks like, to remove, to replace this piece here. And that wire goes all the way through the board and actually plugs in down here. That's what it looks like, yeah, perfect. So you don't have to, it looks like everything will be replaceable without taking apart the whole frame. Um, everything's kind of held together by these little plastic um, rings here, a wire control to help manage the, everything in place. Good to go. So I'm like I said, I'm not gonna take the wires out for you at all, but I kind of want to see, give you an idea. It's detachable there if you need to put these back in. These eyes are very delicate, uh, so make sure you are not hitting them against anything. If you do not need to take this apart, uh, this far, don't do it. Uh, they're just asking for problems. Let's see here, like even this, make sure the, there we go. Make sure the wires lay into the groove that's machined out specifically for them. Make sure that sits right on top. I'm gonna put my screw back into place here. And I'm not gonna crazy tighten this down, just very firm, uh, finger tight. See if I can get it. So you want to make sure you get it lined up first. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing it all the way forward and holding it down at the same time. So that way I can get it, get the screw lined up. It is nice that the eyes are easily accessible though. So if you do need to replace them for whatever reason, I'm sure in an event the techs can do it quickly. Uh, but also if you need to, if you're a store or field, you can do that pretty quick. So just make sure that's all smooth, firmed out how they're supposed to be. Again, that gasket's there. If you're solenoid parts, and your board, um, most of this does push out from this little pin here. There's a thick side and a small side, and it kind of holds everything in place. Again, I'm not gonna take that completely apart, but it just does sit in place. So if you're at the paintball field, make sure you don't actually hit that part. Um, it will fall out the side and you will lose it. Other than that, that is pretty much the entire gun. Like I said, I don't really wanna do the electronics too much. Let's see, they push out, there we go. So they actually push out uh, the I'm holding the gun, the left side, and they've got two little guides plus the screen. It's very similar to the older boards. Perfect, so we're good to go. So those are the electronics. Uh, your screen does unplug here from the back. Be very delicate with this. Make sure everything lines up exactly how it's supposed to. If you have to force it too much, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, other than that, you're good to go. So you can see there's nothing else left in here except for the back screen here. And the back screen I don't know how that comes out. I may have to, um, it may be screwed in a place or glued in a place, but you do have your button here, which is nice. It's contained within the back plate here. So pretty straightforward on that one. Okay, so put this back in, line up. I'm gonna line up this top part here and the bottom. The bottom has a slot and the top has a slot. The slot has like a little rubber piece that fits in there and the bottom has a slot specifically for the board. So I'll just line that up. You wanna make sure that it is parallel to the frame as you're putting it in. That way it lines up correctly and I'm just gonna press it down until it stops and it'll snug up and you're good to go. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think anything else. We do parts and everything inside there. Doing it, might as well pull it apart, right? So you wanna push from the small side to the large side, pull that out and that part lifts up. So you wanna be careful. Let's see if I can get this out. It unplugs from the board. The very top connection is actually gonna be the pilot assembly here. And that's gonna be your solenoid and everything all in place. I would recommend if you're gonna mess with it, take this gasket out and just set it aside. Uh, that way you don't actually lose it when you're messing with it. But um, without actually, besides taking off the front rubber piece and the actual micro switch right now, that's, that's the entire gun. That was so much easier. Uh, it does look like there is a gasket or a filter there in the bottom as well for the bottom side of the solenoid. So make sure that lines up right when you get it in there. Um, other than that, that's straightforward. I like that. Planet Clips is doing a great job of making sure that everything is serviceable, very easy, user friendly for people that aren't technical, uh, like aren't technical and everything. Um, you can use it pretty quick and easy. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out if I can do this wrong. And if I just press down and move it, it actually locks kind of in place and sets on that filter. So that's really nice as well. So what I'm going to do is once I get that piece back, I'm going to put this set screw or set pin back into place so I don't have to really hold it too much. Perfect. Don't forget the 
don't forget to plug this back in, otherwise your gun's not going to work. It goes on the top one there. Other than that, that is straightforward. Um, I'm going to put it back pretty quickly for the video. So put that in there, be delicate on that one. Um, you can take apart the ASA completely. Uh, the, the front piece comes off, this gun's completely apart. Um, I'm not gonna do this for this video. If you have questions, let me know. We can do another video for that, or I'm sure somebody else has done the video, but we wanna give you a quick rundown. I believe we're already at about 15 minutes for a video here. So that just goes into place there. Let's find our two screws. We do work on and repair paintball guns here at Pro H Paintball. And so that way, if you have uh, any questions about your guns, uh, we're extremely familiar with all of these guns. We do take tech classes on these. Uh, on the newest stuff that comes out, we try to take classes as soon as possible. We get one in our hands, take one apart, uh, make sure we learn as much about it as possible. So that way you don't have to break it to learn. We know for you. Um, okay, cool. So we're gonna drop the, drop this trigger back into here. Again, be careful of those wires getting in the way. I'm gonna kind of pull them to the side as I work it back and forth. You wanna make sure that there's, there's a micro switch in the bottom here. There's a little leaflet that comes off there. You wanna make sure you don't smash that at all. So probably better to do it holding the gun left to right like I am now. That way you can kind of see exactly where it lines up. And yeah, I wanna make sure those wires stay out of my way. So I'm gonna hold those out of the way a little bit. There we go, drops right in place. Okay, so line up the hole in the side, set screw goes here. Good to go. Trigger's there. Don't forget to put the trigger um, leaflet back. This is for your spring tension and your, I believe your forward stop on the gun. So it is needed. We tried taking it out one time to mess with it and it does not work very well. Good to go there. Good to go. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any questions about putting this back together or if you've taken yours apart and you can't get it completely back together, make sure you comment below or reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, the gun is fairly simple to take apart and put together. Just pay attention to what you're doing. We have a nice clean area here that we're working in. Um, if you have to force it, you're not doing it right. Try not to do this, this deep of a cleaning or anything out of field uh, or even on carpet. If you can do it on a table, that's real nice and smooth. Probably the best thing to do. Um, for example, right here, don't forget to put the gasket back in place before you put the body on. Um, other than that, the gun is very straightforward. Like I said, we do work on guns and everything at Pro Edge. So if you have any questions, even if you didn't buy your gun from us, give us a call. We can help you over the phone typically if you're not in Houston uh, for putting your stuff back together or any known issues that you have or any problems you're having. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 713-896-8841. Or like I said, comment below, reach out to us on social media. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together so it's ready to rock for a customer. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please share this video if you see anybody that needs help taking their, uh, their 170R apart. Thanks again, guys.